Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Kindly do me a favor, take a second out if you enjoy, if you enjoy the nightly uh, video. Uh, all I ask is uh, click a like, subscribe, share, uh, all that uh, good stuff, and hopefully I could continue uh, doing everything uh, else. Uh, so let's talk about the tape, right? Tomorrow we are in uh, another historical part of our lives. Tomorrow is uh, the 2024 uh, election eve. Uh, obviously, a lot of emotion. Uh, you can see from a lot of people all over the country, uh, no matter who your uh, favorite candidate is, uh, make sure that you are respecting uh, everybody else because, again, at the end of the day, we're human beings. You could be a Republican, you could be a Democrat, but you're a human being, and every uh, human being uh, should be uh, respected. From the, the point of the election eve, so far, the market uh, is kind of acting like we uh, discussed on the weekend update. Uh, I think we we pretty much identified you know really good solid safe opportunities today uh, as I discussed on the weekend videos trying to avoid all the pricey expanded moves today and we saw some pretty decent value uh, with some Tesla dips we'll get to Tesla in a second uh, even SMCI gave a sneaky pivot back uh, to the upside ahead of earnings which again long term SMCI looks like an absolute uh, disaster uh, but the point is we are not in a, a price discovery type of environment right now, which basically means is um, bulls and bears are kind of in a holding pattern, right? Uh, we're kind of in a wait and see pattern. Obviously, uh, tomorrow night is going to be super important. I think the polls close tomorrow, at least in New Jersey. I think I'm, I'm allowed to vote till eight o'clock at night tomorrow. Um, but the point is this will be one of the more scrutinized elections, especially what happened uh, last time, uh, the last time we saw uh, a, an election that couldn't really identify a winner was the 2000 and uh, I think it was the 2000 election, right? If it was when it was Gore uh, versus uh, Bush, there was no clear winner uh, from the electoral colleges. And it took up to 46 days of legal uncertainty, lawsuits, counter lawsuits, so forth and so on. Uh, to finally give us a little bit of clarity. That's the one thing uh, that is going to keep the market very, very aggressive. Um, today was kind of like the calm in front of the storm. Uh, you saw the majority of stocks continue to kind of drift, right? There was no uh, aggressive call buying anywhere. There was no aggressive put buying anywhere. Yeah, the market is still, you know, the speculation market is still playing uh, the DJT story. Maybe it has one more uh, one more day tomorrow ahead of the run up to the election. But the, the the overall big names, right? The mega cap names, we're in a holding pattern. We're just kind of drifting. Um, nobody's really trading or at least trading aggressively. Um, I took a couple of balances today on Tesla. You know, worked out okay. Uh, but the more important is I think more the market participants want to see some clarity, right? Whether it's a Republican, Democrat, or so forth and so on, we want to make sure that there is uh, a definitive winner of this election. The problem is, I don't think it's going to be tomorrow. I don't think you're going to wake up uh, Wednesday and say, so-and-so is the president of the United States. Uh, from what I'm seeing, uh, there's already, I think Bloomberg reported this, there's already, I think, a hundred and something lawsuits already filed that the election hasn't even started yet right uh but tomorrow you'll start seeing a lot of big exaggerated spikes in the futures market uh just because you're going to start seeing some precinct talk some um you know some um some of uh, swing state potential projections and you're gonna have a lot of really random moves tomorrow so if you can avoid tomorrow's session that'd be great especially for newer traders again i'm going to be always trying to find something on the daily chart like we found today uh, on tesla a couple of times 
uh, in the daily bounces. But I, but I think if you're a brand new trader, uh, you know, this is going to be easier days ahead. Uh, why sit there and try to squeeze the water out of a rock when you have, when you know there's going to be a lot of volatility? Tomorrow after the close, when you start seeing a little bit more projections, a little bit more swing uh, state projections, you're going to have a lot more activity uh, in the futures markets. Probably going to be, you probably see a stretch that the, then, you know, the, the futures go up 300, down 400. Uh, depending on you know projections, so it's gonna be very very important uh, to kind of let tomorrow come and go, right? Let tomorrow come and go. If I could find a couple of things here and there, that'll be fine. But you know, tomorrow is not going to make your career. I promise you, there's just not enough. There's not enough institutional participation that is going to make any uh, aggressive bets tomorrow uh, ahead of the election. That's just that's just obvious. There'll be some speculation money here and there, but, but just keep in mind, uh, it's all about clarity. And, and the one thing the market does not want, okay, uh, the one market that does not want uh, is uncertainty who uh, the next president of the United States is. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see. Um, I personally think it's going to take at least three, four days at the middle, maybe five days, maybe even a couple of weeks, hopefully not uh, to determine a winner. But from what I see just from you know, it's just people talking, some reports. I mean, both sides are ready, uh, ready to sue each other, right? Sue each other and say, we won't rob, right? Election hasn't even started yet. Uh, the vote count hasn't even started yet, but everybody's already suing uh, each other uh, because they've been robbed ahead of actually their, you know, the election result. That's so much, you know, that's so much uncertainty uh, and how much, um, you know, how much pressure cooker, of, a, of an emotional drive it is for a lot of people. So just beware of tomorrow's action. You're going to see a lot of big spikes, a lot of spikes in both directions, and your trades could easily get wicked out. It's just, again, sometimes, guys, it's just not worth it. Again, if you're a professional trader, you're doing the 7, 8, 10, 12, 15 years, blah, 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 you'll always find something if you want to trade. But overall, the big picture is let tomorrow go, right? Let tomorrow come and go. Uh, if we could find something great, if not, uh, Wednesday, Thursday should give us uh, some pretty good opportunity. But this is kind of my point. And this is where I'm not dying to do anything. You know, you have names like Tesla, right? You have names like Tesla continue to drift. We had two bounces today, one uh, off the 20-day moving average, one off the 34-day moving average. Actually, Tesla almost went green. The, the biggest bounce today was almost a $10 bounce. Again, congratulations for you guys uh, who could have, you know, caught it for that really, really uh, big bounce. But you have names like NVIDIA, right? NVIDIA we talked about yesterday, uh, is it going to be a massive move on, on this Dow Jones Industrial Average? Yeah, and again, you know, you could see, not really. They gapped it up. They got rejected off the 10-day moving average, up 65 cents. But the point is, the rest of the stocks that we were talking about over the weekend update, they're not participating. They're not participating. There's not really a lot of aggression to sell these stocks, but there's no aggression absolutely either to buy these stocks. Again, we're in one big holding pattern. And you can see here, Amazon, you know, just like uh, Tesla, just like uh, Google, uh, they just, you know, just can't bounce after earnings, right? They just can't bounce after earnings. Uh, Google tried to again put in another lower low. Tesla tried to again put in another lower low. Uh, you have names like Meta, right? Meta just again can't get out of its own way. Microsoft looks like, you know, dead money is still kind of teetering off the bottom channel here. Any type of bad news, uh, Microsoft can get hit. Uh, AMD hasn't had a green day. Uh, since the earnings. So again, not a lot of emphasis, but the, here's the, the crazy part. Try shorting these things at the bottom of the channel. See what happens, right? They'll spike it right in your face just like that. That's why today I had a very specific plan today. Come in, trade the bottom of the daily ranges, uh, you know, you know, names that I'm comfortable with, names of liquidity and kind of move into, uh, you know, move into uh, easier, uh, easier scenarios uh, down the road. So tomorrow, you know, guys, be mindful. Whatever your plan is, um, I don't know how you guys trade. Some of you guys obviously trade with me, but I don't know how a lot of you guys trade, what you guys look for. But the last thing you want to do is con to continue to buy something on strength and continue to sell something on weakness. Again, we, we discussed this all in the weekend video. I avoided that today, which was obviously a lot better price action considering how we, how we were trading today. Uh, but it's very, very important to understand, to kind of read the room, right? Uh, when the market is pushing this dynamic option flow all over the place, the market's going to give you a lot of really great opportunity because that's where everybody's pushing in that direction. When the market's like this in a holding pattern, well, what, what are you trying to achieve? 
right? You're not going to get a $7 move out of where, right? You're not going to get a $7 move one way or another. We're in a holding pattern. You can see by the options montage today, there were no big bets in either direction. So the key is let tomorrow play out. I'm fine. You know, I'm going to watch for some ranges, maybe some reversals if we get it off a of daily support, maybe on an Amazon or a Google, maybe take one more stab at a potential Tesla bounce off the daily chart. But the most important part, at least for me, is let tomorrow come, let tomorrow go. That's what she said. And see where our country lies as far as leadership. Again, I doubt very, very much we're going to get anything, um, any type of clarity tomorrow. You're just going to hear a lot of uh, a lot of speculation, a lot of lawsuits, a lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of uncertainty. But here's the key. The longer we go with uncertainty, the higher probability you're going to see a lot more detrimental uh, days in your future ahead because the market does not want uncertainty. Guys, everybody have a great night. God bless. Vote who you have to vote for, Republican, Democrat. You don't need to explain anybody to anybody. You don't need to justify just the most important part is I don't care if you are a good, a good Democrat. I don't care if you're a good Republican. Be a good person. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. And with God's help, I will see you all tomorrow.